Hello friends. All right, we are going to be looking into Amazon Influencer, which is going to allow you to have a storefront like this. Uh, if you caught my last video, we talked about the Amazon affiliate program, and this is actually separate from that. Um, so this is going to allow you to have like an actual shop page. So when you go to amazon.com slash shop slash your storefront name, um, and you're able to create idea lists like this and then you can click on them and people will be able to see all this content which you can uh, share direct links to or you can share a link just to your main page. So the way that this works is actually a separate sign up. So you will see affiliate-program.amazon.com but then it's slash influencers which is a little different. Um, that allows you to have your storefront. It allows you to create that content and earn um, basically the same way that you would with your affiliate links, only you will have that designated space. After you sign up for that, you're going to have a storefront like this. And I wanna talk about how to build this up. So to do this, all you have to do is be logged in under the same account that your influencer account is under. So in my case, um, my and you know my influencer account, affiliate account, and shopping account is under this particular email address that I'm logged into right now. And all I have to do is just go to this link. So I'm just going to see amazon.com slash shop slash the pigeon letter. So I click, I go there and then it shows me this because I'm already logged in. Um, and this is my private view and then I can click see what other people see and this is how they see it. Um, but let's talk about actually building this up. So all you have to do is go to this create content button here um, and you can create an idea list. You can also do a shoppable photo or upload your own video and then link directly to that from something else. But let's just keep this easy and go idea list, which is what I just showed you. So you can say favorite home, whoops, home products, and then you can have a description if you want, and then you can say create. And from there, I've got now all these spaces to fill. So all I need to do is start searching for those things. So let's say um, I love my Ember mug. I can plug that in and then see um, them in here. The thing about this though is it can be a little bit tricky. You can see that my main search is not at the forefront. They've got a lot of other things. But then I do see here's an Ember mug, here's an Ember mug if I'm looking for the white one, which is what I am doing, um, it might take a second to actually find it, but then there it is. So just be patient because um, you might have to do a bit of scrolling, which I'm not sure why that happens that way, but I, I don't know if it's like sponsored or boosted posts of these items, but I'll just click this plus sign and then you'll see it pop up over here in my space. I can also create a little note that's like, um, I can't live without this, change my tea game, and then it's just a little personalized um, note. So, and then I can say save. Let's say you want to edit a list. So I've already made that, so I've got this here, and then I click on it, and all I see is my, um, you know, the items. I can say edit list, and it. this is where it gets tricky. I got confused about this recently, but, um, it does seem like, okay, I clicked edit list, but then it just took me in a loop. It didn't, it's actually in the edit now. So if I click it again, that's where it's like, okay, now you can add items. And then when you go back to your lists, you are able to, um, again, see I'm in favorite home products. I can select share this list. And then you can also just generate a link directly. So you can see right here, it says list ID. So you can just copy and paste that. Uh, which is the easiest way, I think, to do it. Or you can just, again, give people your main um, storefront. But that's how to do that. Um, I'll show you a little sample. So this is what the links that I have that pop up on Instagram from my profile. So you can see I have faves on Amazon. So if somebody clicks that, then they're taken to my storefront. So that is the difference. That's how you join um, and how you get this set up. It's not just directly off of the affiliate program. It is their influencer program, but it does use the same dashboard. 
Um, it just allows you to build this storefront. So I hope that's helpful. Once you have your stuff set up, drop your storefront in the comments because why not? I want to check them out. I want to see what you put together and I'm sure other people do too. So let's, let's shop. All right, I'll see you next time.